Hey guys, today I'm doing a review slash tutorial on some Essence products. Um, it's a let me know if I can't think. I can't remember what um place it's from. It might be on here. It is from Frankfurt, which is obviously Germany. So, um, yeah, Frankfurt, Germany. It's called Essence. A E S S E N C E. And what I'm going to do is show you. I've got three products. I've only tried out three products. They're relatively new in Australia and they're relatively cheap. Um, this pencil, it's called a Kajal pencil rather than a Cole. I don't know the difference. Except for I can feel the difference. The gel pencils are more creamier and easier to apply, whereas coal are like more rough and harder to get um harder to apply. Anyway, this is in where's the colour? Oh, here we are. Zero four white. Um I'll get the website too so you can have a look. But I actually found there's more products in store than, well, not necessarily more products in store than what they advertise, but I found there's more colours that they've got in store rather than what they've got on the website. I think it's like essence.eu or something. Anyway, this is the pencil. Sorry, I should be showing you all this. Sorry about the lighting. And... I just had to sharpen it, it's like so creamy. There we go. And I'll do. Alright. See, I just got a dot, and that's just like lightly. That dot is just lightly put on. Um, and this was a dollar ninety nine or ninety eight, so well under what you'd pay for the cheap. Well, what BYS considers cheap, or buys, or be yourself, or whatever it's called. So this is a dollar ninety-seven to ninety-nine. I can't remember exactly, but I know for a fact it's well under two dollars Australian. Um. Yeah. So um, I would definitely recommend this. As you can see, again, I'm showing you the color payoff. It's got a really good color payoff, and um. I'm sorry that I've only got three products at the moment. I was just um sort of overwhelmed at the range and the price. Um yeah, I've only got the pencil one. I was gonna as far as I know they have a liquid liner and a sort of a pen liner as well. Um I was gonna go back to where I found it and buy a pen liner or a liquid or something or a glitter liner or something like that. Um, they have, as far as I know, you can see, obviously they've got um, liquid foundation, which uh, I haven't tried them, obviously, um, but they would probably suit medium to darker skin tones rather than really, really pale, like I am. And they've got concealer. They've got um, that trio concealer wheel with like the green, the orange, and the yellow to cancel out different colours in your skin. I'm going to buy that next, definitely. Um, and yeah, they've got nail polishes, which I've heard are really, really good for like their price. But um, yeah, so that was that one. My next is my, oh my god, that's hot. This is in right next to the computer. My Essence Triple X Shine Lip Gloss in 07 Big Night Out, right there. There we go. Can you see that? Perfect, like really shaky. Anyway, um, yeah, this one's pretty good too. I liked it. Obviously, it doesn't really last that long considering it's a cheaper one. That is kind of what the wand looks like. It bends down a bit. Um, and it's just like a straightforward one. It's not got any tapered tip or anything like to go on neatly and that there is Ooh, I thought she got. I actually just. Alright, I'll go again. There. That second one I just applied. There is a single.
coat. Um, that is pretty good colour payoff, I reckon. See? Sorry about the shakiness. And um, yeah. Anyway, that is the Triple X Shine or XXL Shine Lip Gloss by Essence. And they have a few colours of these. Um, apparently, they've brought out a couple of new colours. I noticed this colour, which is a palish, purpley, pinky colour. Um, they've got red one, orange one. Um, they haven't really got that many various colours compared to your more expensive brands. But anyway, um, the colours are pretty much suitable for any skin tone or colour or anything like that. So that was three dollars fifty or two dollars fifty, I think, which is the average price for a lip gloss. Anyway these days at any normal shop minus your um re um like your two dollar stalls or stands or whatever you call them then and like your market stalls. Um so yeah that was about three hundred fifty I'm sorry this haul and thingy was a long time coming. Well I done a haul already on it and I'm just getting you up to date on these and I'm gonna do a bit of a look with them. And anyway, fine Last but not least is my two in one volume mascara. And it's like ooh, good writing. And it's got um double lid. Oops, wrong end. <laughs> it's got two lids. Um, I don't know how the mascara one works, but it's like two mascara ones. It's that one there. They're like that. That's the one, first one, and I like it because it like clicks into place. Like you not you're not gonna get dried up product because it's um clicks itself into place. The lid's clicked in. That is the second one, you notice it's a bit more the brush things are a bit more close together. Um I'll show you each one on a different eye. So this one is my the first one. And I need my mirror. I'm so sorry guys. I need my mirror. And this is just in black, I think. Yeah, it's got... No. It's got... It's in black, I think. I think because it's a cheaper one, they've only got certain colours. This is the lengthening one, I think. It's a lengthening and a thickening, thickening one. The second one's thickening and the first one's lengthening. And that is the. It looks clumpy again on camera, I can tell you that. I quite like the effect, but it looks heaps clumpy on camera. I can. Stupid thing, it looks clumpy. Anyway, that's them, and that's them. And I'm going to take it off and apply both to just show you the effects together. It's a bit wa not watery watery, that's the second brush. It's not like watery, but it's definitely not as thick as paste. Yeah, you can definitely notice a difference. Like, the second one does not do nothing to your lashes. See? That's the first one. That's the second one. The second one does nothing for your lashes. So I'm gonna get that off. Stupidly with a plain old tissue. Well, it's wet still. And then I'm gonna do them both together for you. Um, uh, sorry guys. Alright, I got the panda eyes going. I should have got a wet glove. Um, I have to admit, I do like it. Um, please do try this. Uh, there's a few of them out. There's a waterproof, which is a blue. There's like a blue tube, a black one, um, and a thingy one. A blue tube, a black tube, and I think a blue tube. They're a um color. And they're all like different ones. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the length thingy this time. All right, and these are just showing you together. Chuck a coat, quick coat on. 
And this is like a real test because my lashes on my left eye are like hell tiny and I really want a mascara that makes them really long and this kind of does it for me, actually to be honest. And I just fucked that up there. Alright, um, yeah. just trying to get the rest of that eyeliner. I mean, not eyeliner, thingy down. And I've got like a million messages coming up. And here's the second layer, which is the thickening one. Yeah, it's a bit watery for my liking, but I mean. Oh, I forgot to say this was $6.50 Australian, this two in one. Which is actually really good for a mascara, but like I said, I mean, I'd buy it maybe just like. And I can't do side by side looks, but you get the point. Alright. <clears throat> sorry about the um, under eye bit. Oh, what am I doing? I put the wrong thing down. I'm so sorry about the under eye bit. That is the look. I know it looks horrible. My lashes look way better in reality. Um, definitely would not recommend this one for like everyday use. Maybe um, if you're going out to like a family thing, so you don't have to look super glammed up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it does to my lashes. And anyway, let's go into the makeover, the thingy part. I know I've just chopped on the stupid um mascara, but I can work around it. Look. Inner corner. I use this for the inner corner as well, by the way. We just blend it out a little bit. And I'm going to go on the upper lid too. Just for something a bit different than what I usually do. And I've just gone over the eyelash, so. So I'm going to have to go. So good. And I'll tell you what I've already See how smooth that glides on, and it's like, yeah, it's like, it glides on so smooth, and yeah, for like two bucks. Oh my god, this is like crappy looking. This is just to like show you the effect it could have. I don't know if you're going off camera. Oh no, I fucked the book up big time. Oh my god, this goes on like so, so creamy. And we just blend that out a little bit with our finger. But by the way, it's not blending. I'm going to start wiping it off. Alright, we got that one. Go back in with the um, mascara. Um, I'm just going in with the first one. And it's the leg thing one again just to quickly coat back up. So if you go with the thickening one, it's just gonna um really mess up the look a bit. Alright. And whenever you use a white, you always need to do the bottom lashes, otherwise you're going to have like, white. Oh god, I just got my nose. Alright, there we kind of go. It's a bit smart, just remember. And you can smudge out that line. <sighs> I 
on my fifth computer, so I'm going to power save. Again, I always take so long that the computer goes into power save, which sucks. And now we just get rid of that. I just like get it and like firmly press and wipe. And I know I fucked up the other one and one eye, but you know, shit happens. Alright, so. And then there we go. It's kind of done. I'm sorry, it's fucked up, but you get the idea. I mean, I'm actually gonna do a couple of another coat just on my inner bit there because you know it's just. Like it does coat really well, it does lengthen and it does thicken. But I'm just saying it doesn't look like it on my camera. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. Oh god. I already fucked up. Look. That is how black it goes. Let's see how it cleans up fingers and shit. Alright, this is like an angelic kind of look I reckon you could do it for Halloween. Like, you can see... Oh, that, that one that... Oh my god, that one, the lashes are like healthy and they're curled. Anyway, my triple XL shine lip gloss in 070 night out. Night, not no wait. Yeah. And um I have to say one of my subscribers like unsubscribed. It's like I don't know. Oh well it's you know, they're kinda lost. Um, I don't know whether to put this on a fail looks or what. Like I know blending out the I line up would really work. But yeah. Anyway, this is just a oh I seriously regret wiping that off with just tissues. That really did not help. Okay, this is my essence look with those three items. It would look way better if I had the base, um, a base on and the you know, the eye base and everything else on. But yeah. I love, 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 love the eyeliner because it's so creamy and it goes on so well. And look, that was like one coat on this, this eye. One freaking coat. And look how bright it is. Like, serious. Um, and the lip gloss. Oh, I've got to say, it's taste, like, not taste. Um, it smells delicious. Like, it smells like, um,. I don't know, fruity, blueberry, plummy, I don't know, something, to me, it smells, I can't think of a smell, it smells similar to my, one of my old favourite lip glosses, um, and, yeah, so, yeah, it definitely smells like one of them, I have to find it and find the, the scent of it, and what its name is, to give you an idea, um, but anyway, rambling on for like, 19, 20 minutes, that is the finished look. Like, unlike, or oh, um, like, dislike, comment. But if you're gonna say something rude, like, I should quit making videos, get stuffed. Because it ain't gonna happen. I know I'm no pro at makeup, but I'm just doing it because I find it heaps of fun. And yeah, I definitely recommend at least two out of these three products, which is the lip gloss. The triple X L shine. Let's look close up. It does have a bit of shine. I wouldn't say triple X, maybe X X, like double X, but that's it. Um, and the oh, I don't know, it's like hell bright. But yeah, I know I should have blended it out, but if I blended it out, or what blended or blend, if I blended it out. Um, it wouldn't have been able to show you the intensity it gives you. So yeah, um. I'm thinking, I'm definitely going to go back to um, Essence, definitely, not because I'm a cheapskate, but because I actually like these products, um, 
For one, I get irritated eyes really, really easily if I use scent product. Um, but I've used the white eyeliner in the past, the Kajal pencil in the past, when I got it like last month, but I'm so sorry that I waited ages to do the tutorial. Anyway, I got that, and it does not irritate my eyes at all. Um, I think part of the irritation is because other pencils apply so roughly, and it's got to go over and over your eye, and because and your eye area is a delicate area, the eye is a delicate area, it'll go on and just irritates the crap out of your eyelids, so, and your under eye anyway, because it's like all delicate areas and sensitive areas, so the Kajal is definitely a go-to, like, if you really want to know. Okay, I'm going to do a, a items I would repurchase video next, and probably contain two out of these three, and that's about it, and a couple others. So anyway, um, Oh my freaking god, 21 minutes rambling on. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you later and um, I'll do a, I reckon next video is definitely going to be a what I'd repurchase video. I know I said I never do hauls and everything but you know, I said that because um, hauls weren't my thing because I haven't got the money to do hauls like every week or whatever or every month. So. I'll do hauls and tutorials, I'm um, not hauls and tutorials, hauls and all that when I can, which will probably be like once every six months or so, but please stick with me for that. Um, one thing I'm definitely never doing is a giveaway because um, I'm not having someone subscribe to my channel and I'm giving them some item, an expensive -ish item for free and they unsubscribe. Anyway, um, I'll catch you all later and sorry for rambling on and on and on. Alright, bye.